Okay, everybody, welcome back to Let's Cook It and part two of the hamburger steaks and um, onion gravy and the finished hash, <clears throat> hash brown casserole that I told you about. All right, so the hamburgers did cook about 15 or 20 minutes. I had to wait a little bit longer for the casserole to get done, and I took it out of the oven and let it sit for a few minutes before we dive into it. All right, so I'm going to put the camera down here so you can see everything and what it looks like. Hopefully the hash brown casserole and the hamburger steaks will be in the same sh same shot and I see that they are. All right. So let's go ahead and get one of these little hamburgers out of here. And I will tell you that I did taste the gravy and it does need some salt and pepper added to it. And I'm gonna do that. <clears throat> Also, I think you might need to um, add a little bit more broth and uh, maybe some more of that cooking sherry to make more gravy. Let's salt and pepper that really well. Oh, I know you can't see that in the shot. That's okay. Yeah, you'll see it in a minute. All right, now we're going to put some of the hash brown casserole on the plate. Right, so there is the finished product. Okay, I'm gonna set that over there for now. All right, what I forgot to do was add the hash brown casserole recipe to the first video. And, as, but as I mentioned before, I've made hash brown casserole a couple different ways. I'm gonna tell you what I used in today's recipe. I used a can of uh, Campbell's cream of chicken and herb soup, a can of cream of celery, a half cup of milk, or I'm sorry, a half a can, half a soup can of milk, and one cup of beef broth. Now I just mix it all together with two or three cups of whatever kind of cheese you like. I used sharp cheddar and some uh, cheese blend, which was Monterey Jack, Colby, you know, that, whatever. Some people put butter in their hash brown casserole. I have done that before. I didn't in this recipe. Some people have put onions in there. I've done that before. I didn't in today's recipe. Just want to throw something together quickly so we can have it with the hamburger steaks. All right, so let's take a bite of the hamburger steak, see that how that turned out, and let's take a bite of the hash brown casserole and see how today's recipe turned out for the hash brown casserole. All right. So there's the plate of food. Now these hamburgers are really tender and so are those onions. So there is the hamburger patty steak. It turned out good but it does need some more salt and pepper on this. However, I do recommend it. I think you'd like it. Now, let's try the hash brown casserole. And it's still pretty hot. You can probably see the steam coming up off of that. Let's get some of it off the fork. I don't want to burn myself. Pretty good. Mm. Okay. Had to wash it down with a little bit of cheer wine. All right, everybody. <clears throat> um, I hope you've liked the videos. Um, if you do, hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the notification bell. And as always, if you have any suggestions or like to hear about them, let me know how, how you like today's video. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get this uploaded onto YouTube. Um, I was kind of thinking I might do three videos today. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know, though. We'll see what I get into this afternoon. 
I might not do anything at all but watch YouTube or read or get into some kind of craft. All right. Okay, everybody. I'm going to say it. I'm Ed. This is Let's Cook It. And it doesn't have to be pretty. It just has to taste good. We'll see you next time here. And everybody, I hope you have a really great day, really great evening, and an even better day tomorrow. We will talk to you soon. Bye for now.